Question 1. What is database testing? Answer. Database testing is segmented into four different categories. Testing of data integrity. Testing of data validity. Database related performance. Testing of functions, procedure and triggers. Question 2. In database testing, what do we need to check normally? Answer. Normally, the things that we check in database testing are constraint check, validation of a field size, stored procedure, matching application field size to database, indexes for performance based issues. De Question 3. Explain what is data driven test. Answer. In a data table, to test the multi numbers of data, data driven test is used. By using this, it can easily replace the parameters at the same time from different locations. Question 4. What are joins and mention different types of joins? Answer. Join is used to display two or more than two table and the types of joins are natural join, inner join, outer join, cross join. The outer join is divided again in two left outer join, right outer join. Question 5. What are indexes and mention different types of indexes? Answer. Indexes are database objects and they are created on columns to fetch data quickly. They are frequently accessed. Different types of indexes are B tree index, bitmap index, clustered index, covering index, non-unique index, unique index. Question 6. While testing stored procedures what are the steps does a tester takes? Answer. The tester will check the standard format of the stored procedures and also it checks the fields are correct like updates, joins, indexes, deletions as mentioned in the stored procedure. Question 7. How would you know for database testing whether trigger is fired or not? Answer. On querying the common audit log you would know whether a trigger is fired or not. It is in audit log where you can see the triggers fired. Question 8. In database testing, what are the steps to test data loading? Answer. Following steps need to follow to test data loading. Source data should be known. Target data should be known. Compatibility of source and target should be checked. In SQL Enterprise Manager, run the DTS package after opening the corresponding DTS package. You have to compare the columns of target and data source. Number of rows of target and source should be checked. After updating data in the source, check whether the changes appears in the target or not. Check nulls and junk characters. Question 9. Without using database checkpoints, how you test a SQL query in QTP? Answer. By writing scripting procedure in VBScript, we can connect to database and can test the queries and database. Question 10. Explain how to use SQL queries in QTP. Answer. In QTP using output database checkpoint and database check, you have to select the SQL manual queries option. After selecting the manual queries option, enter the select queries to fetch the data in the database and then compare the expected and actual. Question 11. What is the way of writing test cases for database testing? Answer. Writing a test cases is like functional testing. First you have to know the functional requirement of the application. Then you have to decide the parameters for writing test cases like objective. Write the objective that you would like to test. Input method. Write the method of action or input you want to execute. Expected. How it should appear in the database. Question 12. To manage and manipulate the test table what are the SQL statements that you have used in database testing? Answer. The statements like select, insert, update, delete are used to manipulate the table, while alter table, create table and delete table are used to manage table. Question 13. How to test database procedures and triggers? Answer. To test database procedures and triggers, input and output parameters must be known. Exec statement can be used to run the procedure and examine the behavior of the tables. Open the database project in Solution Explorer. Now in View menu, click the Database Schema. Open the Project folder from Schema View menu. Right click on the object that has to be tested and then click on the dialog box that says Create Unit Tests. After that create a new language test project. Select either A insert the unit test or B create a new test and then click OK. Project that has to be configured will be done by clicking on the project configuration dialog box. Once it configured click on OK. Question 14. How you can write test cases from requirements and do the requirements represents exact functionality of out application under test. Answer. To write a test cases from requirements, you need to analyze the requirements thoroughly in terms of functionality. Thereafter you think about the appropriate test cases design techniques like equivalence partitioning, black box design, cause effect graphing etc. for writing the test cases. Yes, the requirements represent exact functionality of out.
Question 15. What are DCL commands? What are the two types of commands used by DCL? Answer. DCL stands for Data Control Language. It is used to control data. The two types of DCL commands are Grant. By using this command user can access privilege to database revoke. By using this command user cannot access the database.